Hey yo, what up? So you might ask, wait, why are you doing this video today? This ain't your normal talk about death battle episodes. Well, I wanted to make this video because I was really bored and I had nothing else to do. And another question might ask is, hey, why are you making a video on this matchup and not, you know, the other one? You know, the one matchup you've complained about for the past two videos, Joker vs. Giorno. It's not because I don't like that matchup less. It's more like this matchup I have more of a problem with. And the reason I don't like Joker vs. Giorno is not because of the matchup itself. Like, ironically, I would say it's the best for both, but the connections are very minimal. It ain't much deeper than five crime and stands. And the only reason I don't like it is because of the debate surrounding it, but come on. Before I get into this, if you like this matchup, you are entitled to your own opinion. I am literally some guy on the internet, alright? My opinion should not change yours. And like I've said multiple times in the past, this world would be a whole lot more boring if we would all thought the same thing. And I need to make it clear that I do not hate this matchup. I would be fine if this got announced as an episode. And I'm not saying this will be a bad episode. And you'll see why I'm going to say that in a second. But let's, let's get into the matchup. The connections. Arguably one of the most important things in a battle. From what I've seen, the connections are both want to achieve a certain utopia for everyone. And will go to the furthest extreme to achieve that. And both were molded thanks to a prior antagonist. Which, they're pretty good. But my issue arrives when it really does mischaracterize Maruki. Because Poochie wanted to reset the universe and harm the Joestars. While Maruki genuinely wants everyone to not feel pain. That's why the big Utopia connection really doesn't work for me. And I have one more connection that both have illusionary powers that mess with people's minds. Which is fine. But that's all this matchup is. It's a fine matchup that's really overrated. And another thing that's a, the big thing I don't like about this matchup is the animation potential. Now, this is more of a Persona 5 problem, but most of the characters in Persona 5 need to be in the metaverse to use their fucking Persona. Which is going to be pretty hard in the animation to pull off. Because you could just have Maruki drag Poochie in the metaverse, but one, that'd be horribly out of character. Because Maruki does not do shit like that. And that's about it. And this kind of sets up into my very next point. But this is a colossal stomp. Not like Homelander versus Omni-Man levels, but it almost approaches that. Isn't Poochie like universal? Yes. But the thing is, that requires time. And now usually how he does this is that he uses White Snake, you know, set up illusions. But do you want to guess what Maruki has? That's right, mind resistant hacks. So, not a very good argument. But let's just say he gets made in heaven first thing. Fun fact, he has to build up to infinite speed. So, this basically means that Poochie can't really do much. And keep in mind, the most that Poochie gets is scaling to strolling is like city level and gravity hacks. But, fun fact, I don't know if you know this, but Maruki scales above Yaldabao, who, mind you, is above a lot of characters in G Persona. Like, he's nearly an outerversal level character. So, what does that mean? He kinda shit stomps Poochie into the ground. There really isn't a good argument for Poochie that makes him even stand a ghost of a chance against Maruki. This is coming from a Maruki fanboy. I don't care if my favorite villain wins, I would still like it to be a fair fight. So to pretty much outline my whole argument, the reason I don't like this matchup is because the animation potential isn't good, would have one of the people involved being horribly out of character. The debate is a pretty much an open and shut case. I know yes there have been a lot of stomps that were actually really good, but I'm not arguing that the episode could be bad, I'm arguing why I don't like the matchup. It's highly important to say that. And another reason people want this matchup is that both don't really have better. Is that the case? Well let's first look at Maruki. I've heard Homura th thrown around, and that's fine, but we gotta adjust the giant elephant in the room when it comes to Maruki matchups. Now, if you've seen literally any of my videos, you know for a good fact that I am about to say Adam Cabon vs Icon of Sin. Well, I think that matchup kinda got put into good alt hell. What matchup possibly dethroned that one? Well, if you've seen the podcast that I recently made, you know for a fact I like Maruki vs Eno a lot. Let's we'll start off with the connections because they're also just as good. Both were antagonists to a character who originally were just some normal schmuck who got given godlike powers. And both were originally splitted up with their power sets and made it to where they can't find it. However, thanks to some digging and a revelation, they got access to it. And both their girls are almost alike. 
both want to change reality itself. However, Eno wants to change reality by destroying it altogether, while Maruki wants to take away Pan altogether. Also, both nearly died thanks to the main protagonist shooting them with a gun. Also, both have extremely deep connections to one of the main characters. With Eno being in a relationship with Axel prior to Axel going through time, while Maruki acted as a father figure for Joker. And another thing, both hide their pain, their personalities. But this is more of a shit post connection. But both fought against a character who oozed society and comic sans energy. That was also voiced by Robbie Damon. So the connections are just as good as Maruki vs. Pucci. And I'd even argue that this would have better dialogue potential. Since Maruki is more of a laid back guy and doesn't like to talk all that much. Eno also likes to talk a lot of shit, and likes to pretty much act like he's a horny bitch the entire time. So the connection's pretty good, and the dialogue potential also pr potentially good. The fight potential is also another important thing. For one, that Persona 5 issue that they have, which, that's also another reason why I don't like Joker vs. Giorno. Thankfully, Eno has the ability to travel through different dimensions, so she could just go to the metaverse willy-nilly. So that entire issue I had with Maruki vs. Pucci, gone. And it can do a good job with Escalation, thanks to the fact that Eno is pretty powerful in her base and doesn't need time to set up for her higher forms. So it can start off with a fight in the metaverse, then it can travel between Azathoth and Eno, and then it could go Azathoth to Adam Kadmon. They can fight for a bit and then Eno has to go God, and it'd be a really nice clash. And that is another thing. You could have one of the coolest kaiju fights between God, Eno, and Adam Kadmon. And now, the debate. This kid is also pretty close, because thankfully since Eno is a higher end Guilty Gear character, she skills to a round soul and happy chaos, who can easily hit multiversal. And thanks to her god form, she easily hits outer. And I've already made the argument for Maruki. So the hacks is also something that could also come up, which Maruki can literally think you have an existence, which you might say, oh, doesn't that mean Maruki gets the win? Fun fact, Eno is straight up immune to timeline erasure. So to TLDR, it has good connections, better animation potential, better dialogue potential, and is a better debate. And you might say, why not Eno versus Terumi? It's a forced Blaze Blue versus Guilty Gear matchup, and two, Terumi has Sinestro. It literally is just better in every single way possible. So yeah, moving on. Now you might say, oh, why, uh, what about Pucci now? I have heard a bunch of not good ideas. I've heard Hunter Zolman. I've also heard of Anderson as well. The first one just I don't like, while the other heavily relies on Dio vs. Alucard. And also, Anderson has Blade and Kai Kisuke. But let's get back on topic. So what matchup do I like for Pucci? It's gonna be Pucci vs. Cyrus from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. And I'm not talking just standard Cyrus, I'm talking full comp Cyrus. Meaning, he's gonna get Dialga. Which would work really well in animation. Like, imagine a fight between Maiden Heaven and Dialga. They're both rewinding and just messing with time. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk connections. Both are cold and calculative members of a higher organization who follow a certain thing, who also both want to reset the entire universe because they don't like it. And unlike Maruki, they're both their goals are practically identical. And both want to reset Heaven by an organism of sorts. And Gen 4 legendaries are based off Christian figures, and Pucci is a priest. So, the connections are probably a little less than Maruki vs. Pucci, not gonna lie. But there's a strong reason why I prefer this over Maruki vs. Pucci. For one, the animation potential. Since Pucci doesn't need to be in the metaverse to fight Maruki, it could just be on open ground, which is good. Since Pucci has three stages to his stand, it could be a nice transition and flow between things. At first, you could have both Pucci and Cyrus underestimating each other. You could have both of them start calculating their next move. And it'd be a nice 4D chess game if you know what I'm saying. But they start to get more impatient. So, Pucci gets access to Sea Moon, and Cyrus gets access to his stronger Pokemon. And then finally, you could have a, a really cool battle between both Dialga and Made in Heaven. And this would actually demonstrate both their tactics and strategies. Unlike Maruki vs. Pucci, this just vibes better with me. And also, the debate is pretty fair. Not nearly as fair as Maruki vs. Eno, but still pretty good. You could very well make the argument that Dialga can just out hacks Maiden Heaven to death, while Maiden Heaven speed blitz the shit out of Dialga. I'm not too well versed in Pokemon stats, but I do know that Dialga gets pretty high. I think Uni, if I remember correctly, but I could be very well wrong. 
Now, I'm going to make this last point. Both this and Maruki vs. Eno would have the most banger tracks. Imagine Requiem and Throw Away Your Mask mixed together. It'd be one of the most emotional and hype death battle tracks they've ever done. And for Cyrus vs. Poochie, I don't know, do something like Hell Over Heaven or something, I don't know. But to wrap it up, if you like Maruki vs. Poochie, you can have your opinion. And you can very well disagree with me about my shit takes. And hell, I could be very wrong in my takes as well. I've mentioned this before, but I recently started a podcast with Dr. Hippo Time and Purple Demon. And, well, I'm gonna link it in the description. And also, one last thing, this is probably gonna be one of my last Death Battle videos before the Season 8 ranking, probably. I do want to do the certain video idea, but I'm trying to get support for it first. Because I'm gonna be honest, this is more of a group project, if anything. So, I hope you had a great day, and well, see you next time.